after several weeks of waiting, this came to my door. Let's check it out. This is the new 4K box set of Tremors from Arrow Video. This one has a brand new remaster, as well as some additional bonus features, as well as a sturdy cardboard box. So I saw Tremors back in the late 90s when the sequel Tremors 2 Aftershocks came out. I actually saw that one first before the original Tremors and then caught Tremors on TV and loved it. I could turn on at any point in time and just be sucked right into it. I just really enjoy the characters in the film. And that's probably the reason why I think Tremors to me works. Not just the giant worms, which are awesome, but it doesn't work without the people involved. So Tremors initially, when it was first released, didn't do very well at the box office. And marketing for Universal had a tough time pitching this movie to audiences. Also, they uh, released it in January, which is stupid. This movie should have been released in summer. Summer of 1990. It's Land Sharks. But the movie actually made a lot of money on home video and rentals. So that's why you got this giant library of sequels that came out on home video. Before I get into the review, let's take a look at the packaging. I'll tell you uh, what I thought about the audio and video and also extras and uh, my final thoughts. So take a look at this. This is the brand new artwork. I wasn't sure at first, but then when I got it in person, it actually looks pretty great. Here's the spine as well as the back without the J card. Inside, we get the booklet, which is really cool, very impressive. I mean, uh, Aero Video does a phenomenal job with their booklets, adding essays and uh, some of the uh, electronic press kit information back in the day, as well as pictures from the film. So you get that, uh, the original poster, as well as the new artwork. And then here you go, we get the original poster art, tremors on the spine, and then your information on the back. Inside, we get all sorts of stuff. This super cool thing, Walter Chang's store. Get art cards, and you get this uh, Graboid anatomy picture. That's pretty cool. City of Perfection. And then you get your normal Arrow Video poster card with the movie that they are coming out with. And then inside, 4K UHD, bonus disc. And just in case you were wondering, the art is reversible like most Aero video releases. Now the video transfer is pretty solid. It's uh, very filmic, very natural. After several like home video releases, Tremors has finally been restored in the way that it should have been at the very beginning when Universal released their Blu-ray in 2010. Okay guys, so this is capsaholic.com. This is a really good website to compare different Blu-ray and DVD versions of a particular movie. Here it has the US Ultra HD Blu-ray as well as the US Blu-ray from Universal, the remastered Blu-ray that Arrow Video came out with, and the Tac Pack DVD that Universal put out. So let's take a look at it. This right here is the Blu-ray from 2010 and then this is what the 4K UHD Blu-ray looks like and then this is what the remastered Blu-ray looks like. And also for comparisons, this is the US Attack Pack. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of detail and there's a cooler color grade in the 4K UHD Blu-ray, but it is a substantial upgrade from the Blu-ray Universal came out in 2010. All the edge enhancement is gone. The DNR is gone. There's a bit more film grain that you could see in it and a little bit more finer details. Now let's get to the audio. We're finally getting the Dolby Stereo 2.0 that came out in theaters, as well as the 4.0 that came out as well. Um, and then you also get the standard 5.1 that we've seen on the DVD era, as well as the Blu-rays. So uh, that to me is special. It definitely uh, rumbled uh, my speakers and subwoofer. It's Land Sharks. So let's take a look at extras. We have a bunch of new audio commentaries as well as a new documentary, Making Perfection, which is also available on YouTube if you wanted to check out. This does include extra interviews that I think are really fascinating, as well as The Truth About Tremors uh, with Nancy Roberts, who was a co-producer and also agent to the, to, um, the writers and how she got the film off the ground. Pun intended. And then we also got Digging the Dirt, which focuses on the visual effects and showing miniatures. That's super fascinating because 
There's a lot of miniature work in this movie, and especially the scene with uh, Burt Seller. That stuff is all miniature work, so it is, and it looks 100% real. You also get something interesting called Music for Graboids, which uh, talks to the two composers of Tremors. Uh, they talk to Ernest Trost, with, uh, who was also credited for making the movie, but the thing that's fascinating is that uh, he brings up uh, some interesting comments about how it's very common in, the, in, in films where a composer will be hired to make the music for the film and then the filmmakers will go and they will ask someone else to record music for them. And then depending on who made the majority of it would get the credit. But initially what he wanted to do was, um, uh, Trost wanted to have both his name and the composer that came in, Robert Folk, to have a shared movie credit, but uh, Folk did not want to do that. And that is why we only see one credit, but there's actually two composers who made uh, the Tremors movie. So fun fact on that. It also says limited edition exclusive. We get the extended interviews with Making Perfection, which you probably won't be able to find on YouTube, but basically it's like everything. It's almost like they just took the raw tape and then they stuck it onto the onto the additional Blu-ray. So if you're interested in that, try to seek the limited edition. But if not, you know, I think the stuff that's already on the, the first disc is great. You get three early short films for the makers of Tremors, which is cool, it's an additional bonus. I know Arrow likes to do that. They did that with, I think, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They did some of early Toby Hooper uh, short films. So it's totally cool that it's included in this box set. So now let me tell you about my final thoughts. Even though it's like three, four times the amount of the Bargain Bin Universal Blu-ray, this looks so much better. Even if you got the Blu-ray, even if you waited until after the limited edition sold out because Aero Video is really good about, even though you, may, you might miss out on the special case, they still come out with standard editions. And I'd say for 20, $30, the video presentation alone is definitely worth it. Check out Tremors on 4K UHD and Blu-ray. You will not be disappointed. It's a must. So that is it for my review. If you liked it, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's land sharks.